In one of my previous videos that you see here, I explained how you can use functions and formulas to number your records in many different ways. The problem of doing this is that when you sort your records, then those numbers may update. So they are not really IDs for your records. So let me show you how you can solve that problem. I'm using here records with dates and some clients or whatever ordered something on that date and we are going to automatically number those. Um, I'm going to use the row function. If you say row A1 it takes the row of cell A1 which is 1 and you can copy that down. I'm going to double click on the autofill handle and it will automatically number these records. That is a great tool but unfortunately if you are going to sort this column client data sort from A to Z those numbers are going to be recalculated and that's probably not what you want to happen. How can you avoid that? The simplest solution is selecting this range. Click on the first one, control shift and replace them with values. Right click, copy. Right click, paste special. The values. But now you don't have formulas anymore so things will not update. If I sort these records by client then you will see that the numbers stay the same. If you want to keep your formulas you have to make a more complicated formula. And I, I did that here. It says if G2, the cell to the right of this cell F2, equals 0, that means basically empty, then put nothing in there. Otherwise, a nested if. If F2, that is this cell itself, equals 0, then put row A1 in there. Otherwise, put in there what was already in there, F2. Notice that this has a self-reference, so it's, it's circular. So I have to set this Excel file to options, formulas, iterative calculations with one or thousand, whatever you want to do. You have to turn that on. So now I can copy this formula down, but it does not do the work yet. So keep this selected, click in the formula bar, and accept that formula in all the cells with control enter. Now these numbers will basically not change when you sort your by client. So I'm going to sort by client and notice that it kept the original numbers. That's That's great if you want to keep your formulas. Another advantage is if I ever add a new date, then all I have to do is copy this formula one more down. And click in the formula bar, control enter. That worked because this last one was at the bottom. If that was not the case, I'm going to undo this, then you have to make sure that you are sorting again by date. Data, sort from A to Z, and then add your new record, copy that formula down, click in the formula bar, control enter. So you have to make sure that the, the bottom one is the last one. It's not a great solution. I would personally go for this solution, replace them with values, and then later on sort by ID, data, A to Z, and add a new record here, and you know automatically that that's going to be 31. I leave that up to you.